come back. Oh. Oh. So, so, my app so development I'm, needs to. Uh, so I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> So you're all standing uh, still in the rich part of town by that signpost. We do have to do some more investigating. Uh, Krishna, do you want to walk around town with me and see if we can find any uh, low, like no magic zones? Oh yeah. Uh, Kane has a has a yeah uh, starting I've, list. Yeah, I've, I've I've done some preliminary scouting. It's uh, it's over this the the places that we should focus. So, it's a, it, um, in my opinion, are going to be the Colosseum, several of the higher to do taverns, such as where we just left. Which is not so, one. It, so, well, you don't know. Yeah, you don't. Well, yeah. we walked around the majority of that place, and we well, did. So, it uh, may, not, may not be placed yet. Also, and you know this because you have done it yourself, uh, lead line boxes work wonders. Oh yeah. yeah, that place might have it in a little box. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, so you never know. So uh, yeah, Coliseum, taverns. So uh, the Beige Market is going to be a, a, a potential major target. It's so obviously the University Tower, and the Adamantine Coffer House are probably our highest priority targets. If I were to uh, to org- uh, organize an attack. That's where I would start. Okay. What would you like to do next? I'm trying, I give that information for you. Let's check out the Coliseum. Can I get a fight? Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not currently. Currently the arena... Oh, no, when he said, can you yeah. go to the Coliseum, I was like, can I get in a fight? He's <laughs> like, well, there's no one here to fight, but... Generally, yes. <laughs> Then, um, then let's wrestle. <laughs> but during the the uh, trials, no. the arena is used for the Magic. trials. Yeah. But anyway, uh, like most arenas, it does have an undercroft, uh, which are called the Bloodworks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Reference to Oblivion. Yeah, I'll say you're gonna get a cease and desist letter. <laughs> <laughs> It is an Oblivion reference. <laughs> if we actually made money. <laughs> you want one? Oh. So, would you head that way first? I'm not leaving the party. Yeah, we're heading that way. Okay. It's not hard to find. It's one of the largest buildings in the city. Very easy to, if you don't know exactly where it is, to ask for directions and anybody really can point you there. I mean, um, I've also been there. That's true. So from, from from where you, well, right. Yeah. From, from where you are now, it takes you about maybe 30 minutes to get there. Footed across. <laughs> kind of, kind of walk, walk over there. Uh, so it's, as of right now, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon or so. Um, there's a sign. There are lots of entrances into the arena itself. Um, a lot of the sort of standard entrances lead to the seating areas for watching the trials. Uh, it kind of showcases the cost of each day and the, the 10 day pass. Uh, there are signs that point you to the blood works. Uh, so for you know any any prospective fighters or people who want to train in combat or whatever can report there and do so. Um, also, on my way over there, I'm going to reflourish my cloak back into my standard yes. okay. garb. That sounds good. Because. No, uh, someone who's looking as a noble walking around over this area, it's gonna get stand yeah, out. Same. There are some, uh, especially with the trials going on, so it's not necessarily un untoward to look that way. But but going into the bloodworks is a little strange as a noble. Yeah. Uh, 
It's uh, not many going to stand out a little bit. Really heavy fighter types. Okay. Um, the Bloodworks, true to its name, is uh, when you make your way down there. Smells uh, of iron. It smells pretty heavily uh, of iron, and the uh, sandstone is not the color of sandstone anymore. It's pretty dark red. Uh, a lot of fighting happens down here. A lot of bloodshed uh, and training and the like. Uh, in one of the training areas, currently uh, going to town with a great sword, is an Anubis. Which is a, basically like jackal. a nine foot tall dog person. Jackal! That's a jackal! Jackal! Is picture in there? Yes. Under giants. <coughs> um, black fur. Okay. Uh, he's, he's only, at this point, he's, he's only wearing like pants. Like a white hairy type of pants. Uh, and he does appear to be sweaty. There's not a lot of activity down here, just because during the trial there's not a lot of call for that. It's basically like yeah. the Great Prince who's just sitting there wailing on the... Yeah, 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 kind of. The entire time that yeah. you... Yeah. Anytime like, you go out. Man, you should be wore out. <clears throat> hey, I just remembered. We never got the weapons we left with the Arcane Enchanter. It's not the tenth day yet. It's the tenth day is when that's already. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yeah. scary. These are ugly as hell. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, mean, uh, I didn't think it was ready. I just no, no, no. double check. Right. I gotcha. I'm tracking it. When you all enter, and the door that you enter through is really creaky, like it probably hasn't been oiled ever, uh, and he, he, of course, hears that, and he turns. And this guy is like 0% body fat. Like, this dude's, like, super jacked. Like, his uh, abs have abs. Yeah. <laughs> like Finn. That kind of thing. Like Finn, yeah. And he, uh, he, he stabs his sword down into the, the sand pit. It's not really good for a sword, but whatever. Uh, it's practice. Practicing sword. with it. Yeah, and, and he, he, uh, he approaches you guys. Hmm. As he looks me in the eye, I'll say, Hail! Hail! Yeah. Uh, you are of Clan Wolfheart. Because you have the big wolf. Yeah, I have the big wolf on my head. Yeah. I probably got like this a wolf shield symbol somewhere on a bracer or belt. Yeah. He uh, kind of very briefly steps over to, <coughs> I guess, his like desk type space and he takes a, a small medallion that he has that also has the symbol of the wolf. Oh. It says, uh... Well, you've met the family. I am Toric Wolfkin. I'm a member of the family. I've proven myself. It's good to meet see you. Amongst your tribe, I, uh... Ooh, your name? I'm Finn. Wolfhart. Finn. You were a small child when last I saw you. You have anymore. you have no recollection of this guy, because like yeah. was, you know, it's like when you no meet. when he says that name, I'm just like it's one of a million people to have met part of the family. Yeah. I he trust him with my life, but I he reaches out and the, yeah, does we the, the warrior hit the warrior yeah, grip. Like, <laughs> yeah, that it was like flex grabbing. Yeah, <laughs> and he actually pulls you uh, into a, a grapple. Okay. You wanna you yeah, wanna we'll grapple, grapple back? back. Alright. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Athletics check. Yep. Ooh. That's a twenty two. Oh, okay. The talk. <coughs> huh? So uh, like I, I like throw his wrist down and put my hand on his neck and put him exactly yeah, right like, in front of me. 
he thinks he's going to surprise you. <laughs> and I would <laughs> immediately have him. No, I rolled a four. <laughs> Plus some stuff is not 22. I rolled a 15. So. Uh, he's, he's like impressed because like, you, <laughs> like, you, you end up getting him. And yeah. Like, and I like nod and it kind of just... Nice. <laughs> yeah. You were skilled. You would do well in the arena. I would love to. There's magic stuff going on, though. <clears throat> well, any kind of size. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty boring. I don't like it. Yeah, me either. <sighs> I'm picturing this dude. It's like a super Jack Napoleon dynamite now. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. With a dog. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, they pay us well, so it's fine. Cool. But, uh, yeah, I'd much rather... That's why I'm down here instead of up there. I don't, I don't care much for it. Look fun. Yes. I like the great sword too. <laughs> uh, what brings you here? I don't know. Ask that guy. The Deopold. Yes. Yes. I have a name. <coughs> uh, okay. What is your name? Aloysius Carly. Pleasure to meet you. Torek Wolfhawk. Or Wolfkin, sorry. This is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. And he kind of oh. gives you a nice squeeze. Like to the point where my own hand opens. Yeah. <laughs> Good to meet you. I need a uh, splint. <laughs> not much of a fighter. No, I, I am one of the magic users. Ah. Uh, the shiny uh, one is. He looks like it. Uh, and your uh, name? Krishna. And he kind of like uh, moves up and does does the does the, the, the warrior grasp thing, assuming that you extend your hand as well. Might as well. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Be a drag, dragon person. It's probably fine. <laughs> What's your armor class? Twenty-one. <laughs> okay. Just just ever so barely. And you kind of see it coming. He like gives you uh, a, a look. A headbutt. <laughs> Done you phase you. It doesn't it it wasn't intended to really do damage. It was just like a check. A sign of class. A sign of no. respect, so to speak. Because <laughs> you're clearly a substantially uh, well man. well muscled, heavily armored individual. Do well in the arena as well. I come from a military family. Ah, good. Still, arena work is pays well. It can be fun, especially during the uh, prisoners' tanker. That's not for a little while yet, though. Perhaps if you're back this way. Prisoners' tanker. <clears throat> yeah. No two. Prisoners' tanker. Uh, again, this is you. You would know this as your character, uh, but it is a. I think it's a, also a, a ten-day period where they host uh, prisoner battles, gladiator fights, gladiator fights of sorts. Where if you are successful, you can actually earn your freedom. But if you're successful, then you earn your death. Yes, oh, freedom. it does. You're freedom probably gonna die. It does a number of things. Freedom and uh, it pays for the prison system, which is helpful, uh, and it also gives some of the standard arena fighters some different, Water. some different kind of things. Because because you don't have to be a prisoner to partake. Uh, you just have to. But prisoners do partake. Yeah. At their own will. Yeah. Prisoners that have committed heinous crimes, yeah, uh, like murder, uh, rape, that kind of stuff, have to participate. They have to. Uh, they can't really win their freedom. They they're they're told they can. They get commissary. But it's not it's really. Not gonna happen. It's. They're it's put up totally against. Totally unfair. Yeah. They're <laughs> like, putting up against stuff that they're yeah, not going to win. Yeah. They're, they're, it's, it's designed for them to die, basically. Um, those who have committed non heinous crimes may choose to fight in the tanker and win their freedom. 
Uh, and it happens sometimes. It's not frequent, <laughs> but it happens sometimes. Uh, yes. When the trials are not on, we have uh, arena fights every evening. Or just about every evening. There are obviously rest periods where training and things happen, but it's well worth your time, I would say. Anyway, uh, so what brings you here? I'm sure you're not just, you just wander down here. Just looking around to, exp you know, to find, <laughs> to exactly just exploring the city. Okay. And to see what all we can see. It's not, a, it is my first time actually getting to tour around the city. We've we've been here before, my family and I. I don't know if you've heard of Crawley's Dream Bazaar, but... I have, yes. I am Aloysius Crawley. It's a bit, uh, flashy for my taste, but... Ah. No, nothing is for everybody. Fair. Well, uh, this is how that works. We have rooms for our regular fighters, and for those who wish to train like. Have you seen any uh, mysterious packages being dropped off, possibly from House Banebringer? No. Um, we have several storage rooms where we keep armor and weapons and healing type gear, <coughs> uh, like healer's kits and potions and like. Do you think we can get a look at those? Uh, hmm. I pull out two whites. How about now? <laughs> I was thinking something different. Okay, make it five. Finn. Okay, I'm going to put that back. <laughs> I'm just going to watch beef jerky. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> You're like mid-fight. Yeah. He turns to face you. I will let you uh, peruse the storage room. If you can uh, injure me in combat. You want to fight? That's what I'm saying, yes. I want to fight too. No. <laughs> He's like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I want to fight too. The, the, the training area, which is like a sand, a sand pit, basically. Yeah. Are there training weapons in the room? Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll grab a great sword. <coughs> he. Oh, like, as soon as he says that, I like to take a look around. If there's weapons yeah. on the wall, I walk straight yeah. to a great sword. He pulls his great sword out from the sand that he stabbed it down in. Yep. Shall we? You ready? Roll for initiative. Go! Yeah. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he is he's is definitely going first. <laughs> Can I already be raging? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. I'm rage. I <laughs> say, you ready? Rage. Yeah. Okay. He goes first. Mm -hmm. And he roars out. Also raging. Right? Mm -hmm. And he he doesn't approach you, though. Yeah. He says, show me what you got. Show me your moves. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So... <laughs> my turn. Yes. My I first thought on that was was uh, um, what is that? I want to go ahead and make it reckless. Captain Falcon. Thank you. From Smash Bros. Yep. Yeah. So what the, you the down D pad. Uh, Ooh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit. Yeah. Um. Twenty three. I rolled a seventeen and a fifteen for my reckless attack. Oh. Oh, you're going reckless. Fuck nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that definitely hit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, man. Six, ten, fifteen, uh, seventeen. 
17 hound to 8. Nice. <clears throat> He doesn't even have to go reckless. He just has advantage on it. <laughs> That's a... Uh... Math. 16? That's my plus. Oh, nice. Damn it. Yeah. I need to roll. Wow. That's some shitty damage roll. That's good for you. Uh, uh, you take four points of slashing, I guess. They're 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 sharp a little bit. Cause they're, yeah, but is that a it's basically bludgeoning damage? Yeah, it's it's essentially bludgeoning damage. Is it? Um, that's after after reduction. Yes. Okay. He uh, he did eight damage. He swings it and, and hits you on your your side. Yeah. I'm just bo- I'm just bored off to the side drawing dicks in the sand with with mage hand. Seventeen again, so uh, yeah, twenty-four. He is unarmored, so yeah, that definitely hits. Ooh. Uh, You hit him on the shoulder. He's like, he just laughs all the time. He's like, <laughs> I've been bored for days. <laughs> yeah, that's a 12 plus thing, so it's definitely going to hit. Wow. <laughs> My god. That's, you can't roll uh, for shit. I forgot to add the rage damage last time, but it's going to be reduced. It's plus two, five, five damage. After the reduction. Thank you. Yes. I I will auto reduce the damage for you cool. just because it's easier. Uh, he hits you on the other side. Because you kind of roll it. You're you you are staying reckless, right? Yeah. Just, I'm not turning that off. Yeah. That's what I figured. You gonna go in a frenzy? No. So I'll be exhausted. It rolled a natural eighteen. Yo yeah. That's yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. Ooh, minimum damage. Uh, almost minimum. I know the feeling. Ten. Ten. Okay. Five damage. Gotcha. Okay, good. Good. He's just, he's having a good time of his life. He's having a good Drawing a butterfly. This barely a bruise at this point. Huh? Look yeah. at it. Butterfly. Harry <laughs> just smashes it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so. We'll do it again. <laughs> My oh, mine's plus seven. So. Yeah, his, his, yeah, he has a pretty decent bonus. Use my mage hand to tap you on your opposite shoulder. <laughs> nah, I need different sixes. These are like killing me with the shitty damage. Uh, you take another five points. How many? How many do you have? Sixty-four total. I'm at fifty now. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> this is All right. barely a bruise. No, that's great, because he's just, like, wailing on each other. Yeah, and I'm wailing on him. All right. Corey, uh, mm-hmm. you feel a tap on your opposite shoulder from where I am, from my mage hand. Um, that'll be 17. So? Yes. We'll look the opposite direction. Like at me? Probably at you, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 15 damage. I'm bored. So, <laughs> Good. He, uh, you can see, because, like, that one, you actually hit him in the face mm-hmm. and kind of leave, leave a little cut that starts to, to drip a lot of it. Those are pretty. 17! It's a cotton plus candy. Stuff. Mm-hmm. Another five damage. <laughs> nice. I can't. I can't roll damage for shit. Doesn't it's, matter what dice you use. For reals, the tray. The tray is is, is betraying me. Yeah, yeah. Blame your dad. But I'm gonna use it anyway. 
because it's awesome. <laughs> um, fourteen. Fourteen total is nine. All uh, right, he manages to parry that. One. It kind of echoes throughout the yeah. the, the, the blood works. It's a twenty. I'm sure that is. That is better. <laughs> That's the max damage. Okay, hang on. Uh, 10. You take 10 damage. You did 20? Yeah. <clears throat> My max is 19. He's higher level than you. I know. I figured that from the get-go. So that's... Are you... You're down to around half? Uh, yeah. That, that just hit. Right around half. Yeah. You're so showing that, this. I will take a step back and, like... <clears throat> to go up attack of opportunity if he does, takes it. You're going to back up? Okay. He will. Definitely do that. Wait, is that good or bad? That's a natural 20. Oh. Is that a, oh, is that your Pathfinder die? Yeah, that's the one that Mercer blessed, blessed. for you. <laughs> so it's going to be 12. Where is my Mercer die? I haven't taken that out yet. 6 is 18 plus another 8 is Wait, so 14? Hang on. 12, 18 plus 5 is 23 plus uh, 3 for rage damage. Doesn't that go up by like 1 point every so often? It's like plus 2 damage. Uh, rage damage has a table. Yeah, I'll pull it up. Uh, I think it is a plus 3 at this point. If, it, if he has 20 max damage, his rage damage is one higher than the damage. Rage damage is two until they get to level nine. It's three. Okay. Got it. So, uh... Is this 13 yes. damage. My mercer died. That's what that is. I just picked a random d20 at the con. And, and you kind of back up. Yep. Okay. That, that fucking hurt. Yeah. What, what are you going to do? You just back up to... And, and, like, defensively put my sword in the ground in front of me. Oh, okay. Were you trying to surrender? I, I'm, I'm yielding, but I'm still in a defensive position. Which is nice, Terry. Mm-hmm. So you're, mm. you, you're using your action to dodge? Brush your back. Yeah. That'll give a disadvantage on his attack roll. Oh. Because you can do that. No, I would have disengaged. Oh, your action to dis... Oh, then I wouldn't have gotten that attack. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Whoops. Forgot. No worries. I'm disengaging. Okay. And I just step back and so stab then... my sword in the ground in front of me, but it's still in a defensive position. You just... Uh... Fight to yield. To stop, oh. Stop the fight. I didn't want to get myself knocked out. Okay, fair enough. But I, I don't verbally say anything. He sees you like... You stab it into the ground and then let go of it? No, I did, I, I'm still in like a defensive ready position with the sword <clears throat> in my hand, okay. but I stab the ground and like stood behind it. He pauses. Uh, I'm just folding my action. He does. He, he, he kind of does the same thing. Stabs it into the ground, mm -hmm. and he leaves it. <laughs> and grapples me. And approaches you to grapple. Cool. Those Where he stabs it, he, sta he stabbed it into a dick. And I'm <laughs> I've been really bored just drawing. E. E. If he's raging, he has advantage. Oh, that's right. Well. He lost the Mercer die. Okay, hang on. Not much better. I roll a national. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> you managed to not be grappled. Yeah. He goes to grapple you, but you just kind of, like, push him away. Yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. Nyah! Nyah! What do you do? 
say, it's time for a drink. I'm not ready to <laughs> beat my teeth out yet. He, he pauses and uh, kind of bursts out laughing. <laughs> Stop! In the uh, name of love. You're, you're a good fighter. Yeah, you are too. <laughs> it's good. It's very good. Uh, did you want to see the storeroom first? I, yes, please. I oh. Blood pumping. Yeah, I hope you feel good. Feels good. I feel okay, but it that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Go ahead and take. I want to take a short rest. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so you all go into the, uh, the storeroom. I'm keeping a clo- close eye on Krishna's still billowing cloak. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want. I don't even look around the storerooms. Okay. Anybody who's going into the storeroom and is looking around, uh, give me an investigation. Oh, You're doing a short rest. rest. <laughs> yes. Yes. What's your investigation bonus? It's under intelligence. Can I take passage? You don't have no. plus zero. Is that a nine? Yeah. Nine. Okay. Can I take passive? <laughs> Nineteen. No, this would be an active check. Huh? We Nineteen. Have to time to load. Nineteen. Okay. That's not great. That's a. It's really not good. It's a nine. Okay. One. I must be distracted by some. Okay. Weapon. It's a room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you you see that there's like a whole bunch of pretty well crafted weapons and armor here, so you get kind of distracted looking over those. Like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Um, 19, huh? Kane, if you're wanting to, like, stay behind and call 20, uh, it's gonna take you a while to, to search it out, but you can. It'll take, it'll take you a lot longer. Uh, but a 19, so, you're kind of looking through, this is a very well-kept area. There's no dust anywhere. This room actually does look like the same, like normal sandstone color. There's not even like blood stains in, in in that room. Um, you do find a series of storage boxes that contain no food and. Let's see. You spend about a good 30 minutes, 45 minutes, like, thoroughly searching, right? Giving Finn enough time to to do a short rest, essentially. And you actually find... most, Most of the crates have a... some sort of stamp or descriptor on the box that says food or uh, like gauze or whatever, right? Rations and the like. Uh, but you find one box that does not have any sort of... Oh, I'm sorry, that was a dirty 20. Even better. That's fine. That's good. Uh, the natural 19, I forgot. You I find a, a box that is nondescript. Doesn't have any sort of uh, label or like brand or company name or anything like that. Right, I'm gonna. What was the guy's name? I didn't write his name down. Torik Wolfkin. Right, did Torik come in with us? Yeah, he's 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 standing by watching you, making sure you don't steal anything. Torik, does this look familiar to you? So it doesn't have any markings on it. Kind of moves moves up to it. He has a bandage on. Smell thing. The hell is he? Oh, he's the a dog. Anubi. He's in the new buy. The new buy. What I really wanted to be, <clears throat> like I went with you in. That's okay. Uh, is this your box? No. Why? Oh this fuck is, me this sideways. Is not one of our boxes. <laughs> why? Why would you think it's mine though? <clears throat> 
You're the only ones that have been in here since. Did you see me bring in else. large bucks? Well, no, but they're storage, extra measurable storage containers and the like. I'm just, I'm just asking. All right. Should do, we open it? Do you mind if I open it? Uh, sure. By all means. All right. I'm. Can I look at it? Does it look locked? Uh, it does have a lock. The cane. The gate. All right. Uh, no. Uh, Quetzal. Quetzal needs to investigate for traps. Yeah. Is do he, you have Quetzal sheet? In yeah. Investigation. Yeah. I don't. He does. He does have good, good, good investigation. Yeah, I have, I have several. You have the micro USB or USB C. I forgot. I could have rolled for Quetzal micro. on that perception check. Mm-hmm. It's not very good, but. I have a plug-in thing. Right, um, <laughs> all right. Uh. Quetzal rolled a 21 for investigation. Conversation right now. No worries. What? Thank you. 21 check for traps. Nice. Uh, it is trapped. Okay. Uh, yeah, is 21 h- high enough to... And then you, Kane, would be the like, one to... Yeah. These tools check. You have the highest dexterity modifier, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Kane takes the lock. Well, no, it's it's uh, he has to disarm the trap first, or disarm the trap. That's what I mean. Okay, um, I've Quetzal will be like, hey, well, so under, like, here's the the thing. Yeah, it, it has a uh, here's the thing with has thing. a dart within the lock that'll shoot out. Oh, okay. If you try to pick it, unless you disarm it first, or it could just hold a or you could just like get something the in front out of it. Way. <laughs> mm. Could, could pull a Bruner and just have a piece of wood in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. That's a great scene. That's when he makes. Uh, thing, right? Yes. Yeah. He goes and gets Man, the. Man, I, I, I need to go back and read this. Reread it. All right. Um. Yeah, actually, that's what. She's going to that's, what, uh, that's what he's, he's, he's going to do. They're. He just kind of say screw it and intentionally trip it while having it blocked. Okay. Uh, what are you using to block it? I mean, can shield. I like grab like, yeah? Or I mean, Quetzal's got a shield. Like Quetzal has can, a shield too. Yeah, can will be like, is I have a shield. Just grab it off of it. Like not not ask for <laughs> it. Just be like grab it and then like. Ding. The the lid. Yeah. Or, like. Oh yeah, it's a pot lid. They're like pot lid. Yeah. Like dang. Give me this. Okay. Then. Okay, so you sell the trap, and it it hits the uh, the 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 metal lid, Mm -hmm. and sort of ricochets, and hits uh, like say a, a box that has gauze in it, like. It's like just like holding it up close and it like yeah shoots off sideways, uh, and, and and it sticks in to like it, it kind of bites into the the wood of that crate, and you can see it uh, starts to like eat through the wood. Acid. Uh, pretty nasty acid. Nice. Like, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Somebody fix that, and then. I'll go, t- go to it and try to pick. That pick. Lock. Okay. Wait, is there? I mean, I'm not necessarily pressed for time, so I could just theoretically take my time with it, couldn't I? Well, you just set off the or, trap. It may we may now be pressed for time. I could have let somebody know that the trap's been disarmed. Okay. That's up to you. If you want to call twenty, you can. Uh, it's Dex plus proficiency. I, I would figure you're good at that. Oh yeah, I mean I'm good at. I thought it was sleight of hand. Is it not? Or no, it's just thieves tools. No. Okay. Are Again, you, it's are you either way, that's the same score. <laughs> yeah, you're you're proficient in thieves tools. So. Yes, it's it is the sleight of hand. Mm-hmm. That's a uh, thirteen. Hold a six. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. You start. do it and it is uh, complicated it's a pretty complicated lock okay 13 is not enough to pick it 
Okay. It doesn't break your pick, but... Not making any headway, really, with it. Not making any headway. Try again. Can, yeah, I'll say, can Keep I... Keep on trying. Yeah. All right. Continue at it, sort of take a step back. Re-examine it. Mm-hmm. Try again. Yep, yep. If that's... That was a two. Yeah, so that's even worse. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, that's uh, uh. What is your passive perception? Passive perception is a twenty as well. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I've got tw- pa- like passive twenty for perception so he doesn't have to roll Fucking great. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, because you're like back of the you're like right up against this box, messing with the lock, trying to get it to work. And you start to hear a faint ticking noise. A son of a bitch. Mm. <laughs> Alright, can I can I try and assist him with my tinkerer's tools? Like, maybe, like, take a part, part of the lock face so he can see it better? Give me a tinkering check. <laughs> Thank you, Mercer. Um, <laughs> we can make a... 19. Okay, that will give you advantage on your Okay. For the win, this time. Let's see what you got. Love Come it. Come on. Uh, oh, yeah, that's 25. That time. 25 is enough to pick the lock. Ooh. And, uh... I'm gonna pull back the lid. Once he, like, removes one of the... Like, one of the cover plates on it, you manage to... Seeing something that you didn't really notice before, you manage to... And it, 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 it unlocks, and you said you pop it open. Yeah. It is. Does the cloak stop billowing? Yes. Fuck me. Uh. Any magical weapon or armor piece that was on the wall, uh, any sort of magical runic stuff on it stops glowing. Uh, you've entered into another anti-magic space. Um, oh. This bomb is not as large. It's a smaller one, um, but it's clearly one. it's clearly of this of similar design, just not as big. Mm. Um, and there appears to be noticeably less of the unstable uh, technos technos, and somewhat more of the. Chaos, chaos powder. powder stuff. The uh, Muscanita Levique mixture. Yes. That. I had that written down. Mm-hmm. I took notes. Indeed, that's good. Uh, and it has. Uh, it's got wires and all sorts of other. The the mechanism design is similar <laughs> to the one. Not identical, but. Not identical, no, but similar. And it's already ticking. Yeah, uh, the ticking started when... He failed the second pick check. He, he kept failing, picking the lock. I'm just going to look in the box. This one does not have a digital display. That's great. No no, no idea how to how long we've got. This is wonderful. Well, How I'm thick is this box? Not thick. You can tell that it is lead-lined. Uh, the actual lead sheeting is not super thick. Lead doesn't need to be thick. It, no. It's like one inch of lead blocks yeah. everything. Maybe, yeah, maybe not an, an inch thick or so, and it just has like two by four type planks around. Great it. wood. I didn't need wood. I needed metal. I needed a strong box. Shit. Um, look at Torque and say, is there anywhere like underground here? I mean pits. Or underground? No. I mean pits. deep underground. Uh, why? What is that thing? This is a bomb. His eyes kind of go wide. Please remain calm. I uh, have diffused one of these before. I can do it again. Okay. You need a, a, a lower down pit? pit. To throw a giant bomb down. <gasps> no, that's not what I want to do. I, I do, though. I want to disarm the bomb, yep. but I want to, if it goes off, I don't want it to, or all the dust to get out. Yeah, I mean, we have uh, somewhat lower down is the cells for our prisoners. 
Is there somewhere that's empty of prisoners? Like a cell block that's not be currently in use? No, we're a pretty good sized city. Uh, um, we have an empty cell. But not an empty cell block. Not an empty cell block, no. Here's an idea. Do you have a visit on staff? A what? A visit. A wizard. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Every time I use the German accent to say wizard. He, he like, he, he's like, he doesn't understand you for a while. I'm like, what? I don't, what, what? are you talking about? A magic user, something you're blasty. Uh, oh. There are, there are a lot of <laughs> those fucking magic users. Magic up users up top. top. Okay, um. Probably a little confused now because some of their magic stuff quit working. Shit, I was trying to think of doing like a force wall, but if the magic shit's not working, it's not gonna help. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there's not something we can do but defuse it. So we need to defuse it. Okay. Um. How about this? Is there another storage room that's not currently in use? No. No food in there. Like, the one that we're cleaning out or something. Sure, is that. He looks and he kind of like runs off and then he, he calls from some distance away. Yeah, over here. Finn, can you bring this with us? Yep, I'll carry it as quickly okay. as I can. Quickly and carefully. Keep it level. Carefully and quickly and keep it level. Okay. Uh, you're, you're toting it? Yeah. Okay, give me a general dexterity check. Great. I should have picked Kane for this. No. Nah, that thing's probably heavy. 12 plus... Uh, to 14. 14 is is okay. It's it's takes you a little bit longer, uh, just because you have to. You're like freaking out. Yeah, a little, a little scared. scared. And you 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 sort of you do make it into that empty storage room. And it's not 100 percent empty. Like it has like some empty boxes. But it's got less stuff in there. But it has it has no weapons or anything like that in it. Okay, I'm going to open the open it up again. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> yeah, I suggest that the other guy leave too. Kane, can you help me get this out yeah. of here? Your, your hands are a bit more lithe than my own. Um, you actually start to hear. I think Clank will help you though. Uh, like, this is. You start to hear a little bit uh, of panic outside. That's great. Um, because you're right underneath the arena where the trials are happening, and magic has kind of stopped working yeah. in a, a sizable chunk of the arena space. Yeah. I'm going to look at Tor. Can you go tell the mages what we're dealing with down here? Somebody in charge that won't panic. Hopefully. Yeah, I guess. Do that. Can, can I yeah. try and go find out the number agent then? Yeah, you can. Okay, so I want to go try and find out the number agent. You, so, so can you get follow to Torx. You have no idea how to find out the number agent. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's actually probably... I should probably go and do that. because This is out of my depth. I just need you to get it out of the fucking box because you you might you won't tip steady it. Steady hand. Okay. Okay. So, but you run off. With I mean, I can. I, I yeah. would say mage hand, um, but I can't mage hand. And do you so se like separate from him to go look for help? Just like I, in general. I don't know. I usually stick with people. I, if you look for you can Argus, stick with Tork, That's fine. If you if you find Argus Belchfire, he's the one who helped me last time. No, the gnome guy. No, there was a gnome that we don't know the name of. Yeah, who was with the number? Yeah, Corey should do that. I I do want to get the fuck out of that room though. That's I mean, fair. There's I have so no use you, in there. You go hang out with Tori a bit. Yeah. And uh, hell yeah, Krishna. There's no reason for you to stick around in this room. Make a run for it. Clank, oh. stay with me. Yeah, Clank will stick around. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't need to breathe. He'll he'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> so you rush up and Tork begins to explain to the individual in charge about what's happening. Uh, a lot of the mages are freaking out because the there. same thing happened out by the Dream Bazaar. Yep. And there was a huge explosion. Uh, it was done safely there. But, but they know what they it They know was. that it's pretty serious. Can we rename our group the Bomb Squad? Yeah. For fuck's sake. Come on now. Uh, you okay. keep getting roped into this. Crowley. You Hi. and Clank. He's going to help me. He's going to help you. That's fair. Uh, 
after you take it out of the box, are you bouncing out of there? I'm I'm gonna after uh, Finn s- says I'll try to find Penumbra Agent. I'll note I'm like, actually yeah, that's a good idea, and then I'll leave. You'll go actually. Like, find <laughs> like I'll go out and yeah. be like, all right, well I know where they're at. <laughs> no, no, that's fair. I'll try to f- I'll, like, I'll try to find same said name and be like, it's so like we found right. another. Mm. So, or, so, time is of the essence. <laughs> so yeah. I'll... Okay. So uh, you can go ahead and give me an investigation check. What is a nineteen? Plus that's a twenty-four. You're actually able to find a number agent relatively quickly. Uh, you notice one uh, they already know scouting things. on like a rooftop somewhere nearby. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Ticking is, <laughs> the ticking is happening. Uh, Clank moves methodically. Uh, Clank it tiny. With oh. Okay. Yeah. Sure. It's smaller. And he gets on your shoulder. What's Don't up? ticket me. So he is about uh, 12 inches tall now. Uh, with little tiny hands, which will probably be good. For That's why I want him tiny. And uh, he is waiting for... So does... You. So since I disarmed one of these before and I specifically you know, tied off the ones that were... Off the wires that would immediately trigger the device... Am I able to see which one is it? Is it like an identical setup or? Give me an intelligence check. Is it a tinkering check, maybe? Just straight int. I'll say tinkering would would be yeah, yeah because, because you're because you are advantage. familiar with tinkering. He's yeah. familiar with these Wiring bombs and now, stuff. and since you are familiar with the bombs, and also because uh, Clank is assisting you in this, rolled advantage. That will be 18 plus 422. Also, don't forget... Plot points. Do you have plot points? Plot points, and uh, I can throw three D6s on any roll. I don't think a 22 needs a D6 on it, but... Um, yeah, 22. is real good. Uh, yeah, so you begin to isolate wires. It's like, not that one, not that one. And I'm just going to just start tying them off again. Yeah. Just like I did last Signify. time. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, From now on, I'm going to carry around things just to tie things onto bombs because that's apparently my job. <laughs> uh, as you're doing that, the ticking begins to speed up. Great. Less time. All right, so I've tied off the ones that will immediately explode it. Um, now I just need to identify which which wire to pull or Give cut first. Concentration check. Concentration check. Because it's scary. Con save. It's a con. It's a con check. Yeah, con save. Um, seven. Okay, cool. Um, the next roll will be a straight roll, because normally you would have advantage. advantage because of your knowledge and health and stuff. But uh, you're, you're panicking. scared and shaky, and that's disadvantage. So it's going to be a straight roll. All right. So just a tinkering check to... Yep, tinkering okay. check. Here we go. Thank God, 19, 23. Ooh, nice. Good straight roll. It's a good straight <laughs> roll. Yes, it is. Uh, and you manage to... Is it over? Uh, not yet. No. You, you're real close, though. You got it down to two wires. Oh, great. Not again. Uh, let's do one more tinkering check. Give me one more concentration. Save. Ooh, eighteen. So, yeah, that's an eighteen. What's your uh, two, so twenty total. Okay, uh, you'll have advantage because you managed to. I don't want that one. <laughs> I just, I just need to back. Managed to, with the progress that you made, take a steadying breath and one final push here. Let's see what you got. That one is cocked. Oh, yeah, it is. I see it. <laughs> nah. Nah. I'm dead. <laughs> that's, a, that's a one and a three. 
Oh no. So total is seven. So <laughs> that is your serendipity. First failure. Mm-hmm. Okay, the ticking increases in speed again. Concentration? Yes. Thank God. Seventeen. Mm. Nope. No. Okay. Uh yeah. pretty scary. A straight roll. That is a 16 plus 420. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay. That's pretty good. You are... Sweating bullets. 80% sure you have the right wire. Like, 80% sure. Just do it. What that means is... You roll a... You're going to roll percentile dice... <laughs> <laughs> Remind me 20, to tell you what happened in the Barker's lower. game last weekend. <laughs> so tw- 20 or lower. Or Boom goes the dynamite. We'll see what happens. Just roll it for me. Yeah, you know, with my luck, I'm going to get a 1. 49. Oh, perfect middle. Nice! <laughs> perfect middle. That's good. You kind of shaking a little. Cut. Ticking stops. Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Let a little. I'm just gonna hurt. step step away real quick and just vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I was not built for this. I was built to perform in a fucking carnival. <laughs> this is not my bombs. day. <laughs> nice. Nice work. So you need to let them know the penumbra know that you have defused two bombs. In this city, yeah, it's it's actually at that point that Kane arrives with the little gnome tinker. So you're not needed, but I've def- defused another bomb. He probably just takes it. Like, thanks. Uh, yeah, please get it out of the city. Yeah, uh, go back to the same place. Grabs it and vanishes, just like. We need to find him before smoke. we start going home. Uh, I'll need to get out of this room he before will, he does that. He will take take the. Well, we can close the box. box. Uh, put it back in the box. Close the box. And all your magic y stuff flares back to life. Um, and he nods and uh, bounces out. I wish we'd kept the, the giant glass box out to the carnival and just Melts dispose it. of this. It only lasted for like yeah, two hours. Yeah, I think it was two I know. or three hours. Just gotta see um, the man himself again. Spin. Torek, at so, this uh, point, uh, makes his way back down. He's like, hey, all the magic kicked back on. What's up? I, I defused the bomb. Oh. Watch out for the puddle of vomit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, he didn't take the dust with him. I kept that. I, I put it in our lead box. The dust? Yeah. The, oh. Okay. Yeah, the, that was what was causing the anti-magic, was that, not the UTEC, right? Well, he he had taken... I, I, I assumed he was taking the whole bomb. No, I'm keeping it, because I want to know which number this was. Oh, like the actual... Okay. Yeah, I just... You I gave, it before he... he yeah, I, I gave him the UTEC. I'm keeping all the bomb components. That okay. way, if I need to prove something later, I've got all the components. That's fine. That's... Yeah, he's cool with that. He... Takes then he doesn't need the box that 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 line box. Yeah, he just needs the. He just takes takes the the tube. Once you box up the powder again, yeah. He uh, he shadow steps away with it. Do um, we hear a distant? No, <laughs> no, no, no. This one was probably taking someone else to. The number on this one. Could you kind of look in the same place? Is. Uh, and the other one was six, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nice job. One down. Two down. Twelve. Oh, did, did we try to like scour it to see if we had a number? 
or anything on this one? Yeah, we just did. Three. Okay, sorry. Number three. Yeah. That's all right. It's not something exciting. So did did Torek bring anybody with him? No. Nobody. Great. Did not no. do his job. He well, you told him to go let them know what was going I on. I told him to bring me someone. I didn't pick up on that part, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> he can go get somebody, I guess. It's fine. I'll just keep my we're gonna put the lead box back in the bag of holding. Good call. I think should we go to Sven's? And gets us disposed of, or keep on keep looking for bombs. Um, keep looking for bombs. What other locations did you give us, Kane? Um, tavern similar to the place that we were at, which would be a little harder to get into. Um, again, it's a beige market, wizard tower, um, and the uh, oh shoot, what's it called? The Adamantine, Adamantine Copper House. All of those are going to be harder than hell to get into. I mean, the beige market is just a market. Yeah, that's that could be anywhere in there. This will be very difficult. Okay, can we go to the beige market? I want to find like the most crowded section. Yes. So, it would probably be best to start just asking shopkeepers... If they've had any mysterious if, yeah, if, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, strange deliveries. Harriet, can you see if any of the animals around here have seen any shady people? Sure. Okay. Uh, are you looking for any particular type of animal? Are you looking for any particular type of animal? Oh, rats. The, 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 vulture, the vulture said sewers, and I heard sewers that is where they stay. So. Maybe we should hop down in the sewers. Not just yet. I want to find the bombs first. There are rats. <laughs> Um, especially near food vendors. And their dumpster. Uh, and like dumpster type spaces, so it would be very easy for you to mm. find rats. Okay. We are the friggin' bomb squad. I don't even have a bomb squad uniform or anything. No, but I like wouldn't help. I know. Not, not with these kind of bombs, it would not help at all. Um. Turn sand to glass, I would assume not. <laughs> so... You make your way down an alley near a uh, food vendor dumpster. And it does not smell nice down this alley. Pretty heinous. Uh, there's like some steam rising up from like a sewer grate kind of a thing. Not pleasant. But there are a series of rats. Uh, and normally they would not be particularly friendly but because Harriet is with you and she can freely communicate with them they don't seem so anxious or violent um, most of them scamper off but one of them kind of scampers off to you uh, and will kind of run up and perch on the other side of your shoulder like uh, Popeye's right here and the rat kind of Squeaks. Rats are intelligent creatures. I mean, they're they pretty are, damn smart. It, it climbs up and then perches on, on your shoulder. Hey. Hi. Uh, Would you like some cheese, little guy? Yeah. Well, he, he doesn't understand you, but he'll, he'll gladly take the cheese. I'm just hand us some cheese. Show him a box. Yeah. Um, so did we take... The lead line box from the Coliseum. Yeah, we put it in the bag holding, I think. Oh, I took our lead line box. Oh. I didn't know if we took both of them. Uh. I don't think the other one will fit. No, not really. I mean, you. Somebody could carry it. Wait, but, but I have. Wait. No, that can't fit into a bag of holding. No. Yeah. But our our box can, because we, we specifically yeah. asked for one that could. Oh. Your box can. The, the box that that one was in could not. It's just it's just it's a chest. little bit too big. What did, do they look similarly, though, just aside from size? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the one that we found down there is not the same, not similar to the one we have. Um, we just, we had a, like a... Oh, yeah. So the one that was found was intentionally designed to look 
obscure and unobtrusive. Like it would um, be in a warehouse room. Yeah. It is... I'm going to take out the bomb casing. Okay. So have, you, have you seen one of these? Oh, I wonder if they could smell it. Have you seen well, it's one in of glass. these? Here it kind of translates. Squeak, squeak, or squeak, squeak. Yeah. What did he say? Uh, Hang on a second. You <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. I, I don't want to take out the powder because that'll just nullify any, all magic. I haven't seen any. You might no ask magic who the rat is that covers the most territory, or maybe a rat that would be knowledgeable. Do, do you have a leader? An elder rat or some shit. Do you have a leader? Squeak, squeak. We, we like to follow around the were rats in the sewers. Ooh. Were rats. Great. I, I do not want to be a like it. I do it. not want to be a were rat. What is a were rat? It's gross. Like a werewolf. Like a werewolf, but a rat. rat instead. There's also were tigers and were bears. Were bears. Bears really cool. I knew it. I was sitting here thinking I'll grass. Just, whenever right. you said I'll sewers, I was like, grass litter. Goddamn splinter. splinter. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. also could consider a were pig or a. Uh, no, no. Normally, uh, wow. mor normally wares tend to go with the prey, the predator species, so the prey. And boars are fucking violent. Oh. Yeah, there's oh. Gross. they're gross. Yeah, they're pretty gross. Were bears are majestic. <laughs> were rats. Not you know, so much. This was Bob's character from our last game. <clears throat> oh, okay. That Except less is naked. Heinous looking. And go to the next page, I think, is the Were Tiger. I used to play Were Tiger. Yeah. Were Tiger's is, cool. This yeah. is me from, from one of my old games. Were Wolf is nasty. Yeah, werewolves are violent. There's also the Were Jackal on, the, on, the, on this other page here. You go back one. Oh no, it's a Jackal Were. It's Ow. in a different section. Jackal, it's a jackal. And I always thought, uh, anyway, the half dragons were kind of were dragons. Oh no, not that book. No, no, I'm just gonna scroll through it. Not that book. Ugh. All right, there's a lot of stuff in that book. We. So you follow the were rats, great. The were rats feed us well, and we uh, before we steal things for them. Before she's done talking to him, I'm gonna do a quick sketch of the lead bo the, of the chest that we found the bomb in. Uh -huh. Do I need to make any kind of check, like a dex check, to? Or to do check? What? I'm gonna sketch it on a piece of parchment. The box. Yes. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Give me a performance check. Performance. I'm great at those. <laughs> it's my best thing. Natural twenty. Plus seven. Twenty-seven. <laughs> this is the most beautiful chest art you've it's ever seen. It's a perfect yeah. fucking <laughs> three wow. uh, Yeah, yeah it looks really good. Really close. I got all the shading just right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got the like the it's 3D image where it actually looks <laughs> real. Photograph. It's been about ten, like ten, five, five to ten minutes or so. And I just absently hand it more cheese as I'm working so it won't go away. <laughs> okay. It stays for the cheese for sure. And uh, uh, I hold up the, the picture. Have you seen a box looking like this? Here he translates that. I, I would yes. Squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeak. Uh, yes. Can you show us where? Squeaky. No, weaker. Why? <laughs> Scared. We're gonna fucking kill you. Don't set in the rat. Don't, don't pay attention to him. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the threatening tone. Why is he scared? Oh yeah, why are you scared? Sorry. I'm failing at my yeah, job. Yeah. It, uh, it floats in the death cube. Mm. What the fuck? I don't understand what, what that means, but it floats in the death I don't death know cube. what that means. I know what it means. It's kind of obvious, isn't it? <laughs> it's oh god, no. Oh, come on. What level are we, Josh? I hate those things. What oh, level are we? Is that in the sewers? Of yes. course it's in the Shit. sewers. Shit. Do you need this any more world. hits? world. You knew that we were going to hit. Like, we, we always <laughs> go up against one early level. <laughs> I wasn't in this always. game. I wasn't so in I. last campaign early level. <laughs> we we still have Latin the monster cube. manual. That yes. sucks. Look under G. Gelatinous cube. They suck. 
It's I mean, a giant jello mold of death. I've even got one. Go back a little bit. No, it's under G E. Oh, G E. I'm sorry. You're under G E. You're still under G E, but it's right before this. Nope, I was wrong. Did I forget how to spell gelatinous? Yeah. They want no part of that. Might rats under, might be rats are afraid of the, of the cubes. Yes. Check under O. Is that still... Oh, it's been it's been ages since you opened that. Yeah. Oh, too far. It's under oozes. Yeah, I just realized that. It's O-O. -O. There. This thing. Yeah, it's not particularly. They eat people. Well, that's lovely looking. They it's eat not, people. Well, they eat everything. Yeah, it's it's not pleasant. It has sure. a move called engulf. They're very large. They're about the same size as you. Side of it, see if there's a spot for it. Mm -hmm. And like then it. you're drowning. You're you can't. By, you can't breathe, and you're covered in acid. Yeah, this is like an acidic gel. Yeah, it's, it's not a good stuff. time. Yeah, it does three d six acid damage. In my time. realm, a lot of the cities use gelatinous cubes yeah. to keep the sewers clean. Yeah, it's just going through eating everything in its path because it, it, eats, it eats everything. Yeah, it's just a big ball of acid. It is not picky. About what it consumes. It. Not picky at all. Not something. That's because it has an intelligence of one. It cannot be picky. We can well, bring some, uh, some baking soda down there. <laughs> <laughs> Neutralize the acid. That's an interesting thought. I'm not sure how. Gross. It's gotta do something to this own bitch. <laughs> Caught his vision or something. <laughs> has blind sight. So, so we go to the sewers. Again, the rat is not about to, so, to take you that way. Thank you, small rat friend. Here's another piece of cheese. It likes living. It shudders a little bit just thinking about that. We may be able to get rid of the death cube. It seems excited by that. There are many. That's wonderful. That's Not necessarily that's near the box. But he doesn't even tell us where the box is, which cube it is, though. I'll have to ask the wear rats. Right. Right. You're just not supposed to turn it. You're supposed to just pop it out. Oh, I do you ask... Two spots out, we'll I do ask the... Uh, I ask the rat one last thing. Mm -hmm. Where's the nearest sewer entrance to the rat folk? Or the, the wear rats? It kind of points a little further down the alley. There's, like, steam rising up from the, from okay. the sewer grate. Good, good, tiny friend. I, I give him a pat on the head. What can we offer the wear rats? More cheese? <laughs> the cunning folk. <clears throat> ha have I encountered were rats before? I've been everywhere. Maybe, but even even though you have been a lot of places, you probably haven't necessarily like been to that seedy of a place. I mean, I've been everywhere looking for my sister, and she was a penumbra agent, so oh. she would do the seedy shit. She would. That's true. I'll just intimidate him. Oh, man. I wouldn't. We want him to help us not... I've got the entire plot of the, uh... Oh, which... What's the name of that one? It's the third book in the Icewind Dale trilogy. Mm. The one where they get a Callum port. Yeah. Oh. Is she creating her? Uh, the, the, the halfling ship. No. Halfling, yeah. What's happening around? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, we're going to the Silas... I'm going. I don't know about the rest of you. Let's go defuse another fucking bomb. We should take the gnome with us. Is the gnome still? Is the gnome still with us? Uh, no. He took the the technos and he bounced. Out. So we can't take the gnome. It's my job. 
A, take him with us, or B, once we find it, don't fuck with it until we get him, and then... Unless it's already ticking. True. If it's like the last one that didn't begin ticking until we started tampering. Well, I would assume that uh, being surrounded in acid would count as tampering. Well, then it might have gone off. You know, it, it would it, it'll be different. Anyway, I think we need to find it first before we go try to bring that gnome gentleman into this. Okay. Let's go down in the sewers. Great. And, uh, oh. yeah, it, if you thought the alleyway stank, you were uh, it's, spoiled. It's potpourri compared to down here in the sewers. It is. Anybody have some Vicks Vapor Rub? Just. Mm. Yeah. It is possibly the worst smell. Uh, kind of that sweet. Wouldn't Harriet be used to smells like that, though, being that she's a You're a swamp monster? Yeah. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> well, I mean, there is a type of Bigfoot called That's the That's our it. name. <laughs> Uh, you, I would say it's not that you're used to it, but you can manage you, more. You have a better time of, of dealing with the smell. It smells awful uh, down here. It does. Like you, you're occasionally coughing every ten seconds. You start making your way, <laughs> and you're <laughs> just like, oh, I need, yeah, 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 so I need, fine. I need everyone <laughs> except for Harriet to yeah. make Constitution and so and Clank. And it won't clank because he doesn't breathe. Yeah. yeah. Lucky bastard. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, nineteen. Good. Good. Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Kane, are you ahead of the group scouting, or are you? No. You hanging back? No, I've, I, I, I would have been very reluctant going down in there because I know that I have. So You're not gonna, gonna go down there last. I'm like, damn it! You guys are walking, walking along, and you hear a splash, and a turn around, <gasps> summon the sword. Oh, okay. It's from that cane. <laughs> Had the chuck. Could I have done it stealthily? Give me a stealth check. <laughs> stealthily. Stealth on it. Like, pl- like yeah. plop, like light plop. <laughs> <laughs> light plop. <laughs> That's great. Uh, that's, uh, 16. Better than your con save. Okay. Uh, it's a lot. I caught it. Perception checks. I caught Actually, what is everyone's passive perception? Uh, it's 10 plus your perception. Because you're not, like, ten. necessarily for for I have no idea what that means. What? What's your, um, uh, perception modifier? Yours is plus 5, it's 15. So 15. Okay. So, you're good. What? Your perception bonus? You manage, because there are some, like, splashing sounds within the sewer, just in general. So you manage to to mask it with (laughs) a drop or a plop. You don't feel great. No. Right now. Uh, It's 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 pervasive. So my training, at least, uh, uh, kicked in to help me stay stay as quiet as possible. Yeah. This is very, very true. All right. Um, there are a lot of rats <laughs> around. Elliot, can you have some direct us to the rat, the the rats? Where are they? Where 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 rat? Where are rats? The death uh, cube you. with the box in it. Well, um, they don't. Gonna, they're not going to go they're anywhere near that. You there. So. No, but they can tell us where they don't want to go to. Burp that way. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <Okay. laughs> um, they begin to uh, kind of change direction when when you kind of call out. Squeaker, squeak, squeaker. Uh, which is the squeaky, lovely squeak, squeak, squeak. Em- Emperor's New Groove reference. Yeah. Yep. Uh, squirrel language. The squirrel squeak language. Squirrel. <laughs> and they sort of lead if you follow them. They they were just kind of meandering aimlessly around the sewers and, and get skirting around you guys because they don't you're much larger than them and stuff. 
uh, but they start to move in a unified way down the sewers. There's a pipe um, piper. Give me, give me a, give me a persuasion check real quick. Me? Yeah. Animal, Animal handling or persuasion? Animal handling would probably be better for you. Yeah. Nineteen. Yeah, plus okay, five. Cool. Yeah. They they begin to uh, lead you guys deeper into the uh, into the sewer area. It's not necessarily like labyrinthine down here, but it's there's there's enough turns that it gets to be a little confusing. Um, but you're eventually led <coughs> to a slightly better smelling area and it seems a little bit cleaner uh, and you start to see like crates along the walls that have various uh, store names and like likely stolen goods and uh, there's a, a heavy iron barred gate that they kind of scamper through. You don't see anyone, but there's a, there's a big solid gate that's closed. Well, it's like a door. It does have hinges, and you know that it, it, it would pull toward you, through outward. Alright, so I'm seeing a bunch of crates with store names on them. Do they look full? Oh, yeah. There's All right, a bunch they, of goods. They wouldn't leave these unguarded. So I'm just gonna step louder than normal, try and make noise. Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm gonna detect evil. No. Oh, yeah. Divine sense. The the spell or the divine sense. Divine sense. Okay. So evil just smells bad to you, unless they're celestial, fiend, or undead. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the, bad, the bad smell down here intensifies greatly. Um, Whereats are not particularly nice. They're definitely evil individuals. I thought they were neutral. Nope. Hmm. Well, good then. Fuck them. I can kill them at will. Don't kill them yet. We need help. And you... Uh, you hear a slight uh, click actually a couple of them and from the shadows step uh, uh, where is that four were rats step out with hand crossbows loaded pointing in your <coughs> directions I already got my hands up pointing what? hand crossbows uh. what uh what brings you down to our neck of the sewers? We're looking for a gelatinous cube with something the rats call a death box inside of it, or, or a box inside of a death box. I don't... death cube. That's what they call the cube. Yes. The death, cube. death cube with a box in it. A big it's box. I'll pull out my drawing that I made for the little rat and say, this thing. I think we're just going to tell you stuff for free? It's a bomb and you'll all die if it goes off. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. Or intimidation, if that's what you're trying to do. I'm just trying to tell them the friggin' truth. <coughs> 24. Okay, it's not a deception check. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, I've disarmed well, two of these one already. Of them, one of them will, Looks a little frazzled, frazzled at, at that. Hey, 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 Locker. Rosie. No. Crazy kitty. Get All the down. bugs right outside there. Yeah. yeah. Should probably uh, actually close the window. You won't just or die. Going to. It'll turn uh, you crazy and you'll kill your own family. Yeah, or I mean, I could at least uh. No magic. Can like function. close the door. She can't really. And uh, actually, have you heard of Muscanita? Okay. It's refined still muscanita. Still there, but she'll be, she won't. Oh. And Levique mixed in. Uh, if it's processed right, muscanita is pretty fun. 
This is the this is not the good kind. Ah. This is the shit that'll make you go insane with rage. Did you hear about the explosion out in the desert last night? Of course. That was the first bomb. Hmm. There are six in the city. Now five. Okay. Well. Actually, it should be four now. You disarmed number six and three. Well. And whoever's been delivering them have apparently been coming down here. Do you know anything about that? No. There's... <sighs> Within the sewers, there's about 30 gelatinous cubes. That, Do you know which that one? That patrol... What? <laughs> 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 Do you know which ones the rats are avoiding right now? Which ones in the particular? Rats avoid all the dead That's animals. not helpful. Because um, they eat rats and anything else that gets in their way. Well, yes, that's what they do. Uh, have you seen one sliding around with a big box in it that looks like this? If you if you would be so kind, I'll actually hand him ten white. I was hoping I'd be speaking your language by saving your life, but well, coin helps to grease the wheels. I know that too well. If you do see anything, tell your rats to look for this one. Yeah. She's a ranger. Because he's about maybe four foot tall. And <laughs> up to her knee. Up. <laughs> well, can't really miss her. You're not wrong. This is a bomb, you say? Yes. That drives people crazy. And kills all magic. Really? Yeah, they want it. Yeah, yeah no. you can. That will serve us well. We'd rather it doesn't go off, because, you know, you could die, innocent people could die. If there's no innocent people, there's no one for you to rob. Not necessarily. If there's lots of dead people, there's plenty of people for us to rob. Did you see what the bomb did in the desert? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Crater of glass. Well, we won't be anywhere near it when it goes off. How do you know? Do you know where it is? Once we've disarmed I want, it, we'll I want to, to see if I believe it. him. Okay. Shit, that's cocked. See. Oh. Yeah. Because it's it's not. Ooh. Okay. Inside okay. that is a nineteen. Nineteen. Do I believe him? As far as what? Does he know where it is? No. Great. You you believe him. He doesn't know. What are you doing? I want you to stay with me and cuddle. <sighs> no, he... From what you have heard just now, you pick up on... He's unscrupulous as shit. Oh, yeah. You can tell that this guy is... He's a he, rat. Shady as He but. may not be the leader of this particular group, but, but he would he like to be the leader. To, to give some really tasty information to the leader. <laughs> uh, Do any of the others look at all trustworthy? No. Or are they all just assholes? No, they're we're rat assholes, man. Mm -hmm. With this information. And we thank you for it. I'm gonna put my hand behind my back like I'm scratching an itch and summon my sword and then look over at Krishna. We know how to work with his bombs. Once we've disarmed it, we'll need to get rid of it. We'll see who gets to it first. You won't disarm it. 
You'll kill everyone if you try and go near it. Uh, he, uh... The other three stay where they are with their handcuffs very strong. And he reaches and pulls out a, uh... Yeah. Uh, uh, like a little ring of keys and goes to open the, the metal door. <clears throat> Before he gets to the door, because mm -hmm. if he opens that door, it's going to be bad. Uh, in my thinking. Okay. I'm going to whip out my sword and just Eldritch Blast right in front of him. Not nice. hitting him. I'm going to hit the door. That is where <laughs> stop. we will stop. Okay. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Good, good. And just like my la like the last thing, low. last thing is just gonna be do not open the door. Yeah, um, we're gonna be rolling initiative <laughs> very soon. Next after. Uh, next session, which we will be having here. Yeah, um, and then of course we'll have our break week, and then hopefully. Be ready. If all goes according to plan, we should be having the next set of sessions after this set. Yeah. At our house. Well, if you're not ready, it's okay to have you here again. Well, we agree. But I am very excited to set the room up with something else. Yeah. I'm using for something specific. Yeah. And I'm I'm gonna get like a uh, table mounted mic. Okay. So you want it. Can you help Tommy before you do that? See what his right. idea was. Agreed, agreed. Okay. Whose idea? Tommy. Ah. He had an idea to make something with his. Yeah. We will. Uh, we're gonna have a little break. We're gonna do the after party and do clean up. Thank you, stuff. Eli. Yeah. My phone is almost dead and it's already up to sixty-six percent. So, thank you. Keep it till you leave.